Okay, I think it's it's time to start. It's time to start. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the first day of this program. I sincerely appreciate you all. You know, it is not easy after this activity. You took your time to connect to the Zoom link so that you have a good idea of what you are doing. I sincerely appreciate all of you. Welcome, class. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is God's Power Aja Pedro. I am a life coach, and to the glory of God, I am a forex trader. You know, to to we to be candid, I've been doing this for a very long time. And what's the aim of this program? The aim of this program is to teach you so that you understand forex trading to the fullest. I repeat, the aim of this program is to teach you so that you understand forex trading to the fullest. So what do you think we are doing exactly in this program? What do you think we are doing exactly in this program? Let me share my screen with you. Now, right here, the first thing we are going to be look, talking about is the one. And the one, what does the one constitute? The one talks about introduction to forex trading. It talks about exchange rates. We look into fundamental analysis. We look into technical analysis. Are you with me? So day two, which is tomorrow, we'll dive into pips, lots, leverage, brokers, platforms, and charting software. We'll now talk about types of traders, swing, day, position, scalp. we we'll also look into technical analysis. That's for tomorrow. Please don't miss tomorrow's class for anything. Then, day three. What does the three contain? We'll look into metal to that for Android and desktop version. How to use metal to that for? Now talk about how to open trades using metal to that for. We now talk about market lot size. We we'll talk about a whole lot of things. Trade and uh, trade stopping, swing trading, edging. We will deal with all these things. The four. We will now dive into how to manage our trades. How to manage our trades using investing.com, my FX book, Forest Factory, then Trading View. All of all these things, you are going to enjoy them for this program. So let's proceed. So let's proceed. What exactly are we doing? Because of time. Today, we're talking about forex. What's forex? Forex refers to, or is commonly known as FX, and its largest financial market where currencies are bought, sold, and exchanged for one another. Unlike stock markets, it has no centralized exchange, and transactions are performed over the counter. That is, participants trade with one another through a worldwide network of banks. What am I saying, class? If you look at it underneath, Forex is, is simply a normal business you and I we can engage in. If, for instance, I have I, I, I want to go to Japan to buy some spare parts in Japan. If I take my Naira, I will convert my Naira to Yen. You know in Japan, what they spend here is what? Yen. So if I convert it to Yen, then it means that I have taken my currency pairs. You, you, I'm taking my yen to Japan. So that's the simple exchange. And this exchange we are even talking about, the Northerners do it very well. So for instance, I have dollars. I want to convert my dollars to Naira. I will simply what, take it to them and they will help me convert it. Now, if you look at it, it is actually a global market which is traded two, four, five. A week class forex pairs are actually traded from Mondays to Fridays. I repeat, 
They actually traded from what? From Mondays to Fridays. At what time zone are we looking at? We are looking at the London, New York, Tokyo, Zurich, Frankfurt, Hong Kong, Singapore, Paris, and Sydney. Are you with me? So these are the sections we are going to look at. Now, if you look at the base, at the bottom of it, there are trading sections we can engage with. And these are Asia, European, and America. In, in, in other words, class, the amount that is dropped daily for us to trade Forex pair is $5 trillion. Hello, I'm not saying that you are going to make $5 trillion through this media. What I'm saying is $5 trillion is dropped daily so that you and I can profit from it. I mean, $5 trillion is dropped daily so that you and I can what? Profit from Plus, what exactly do you do in the Forex markets? Plus, what exactly do you do in the Forex markets? In the Forex market, you either buy or what? Or you sell. I repeat, in the Forex market, you either buy or what? Or you sell. Look at these two animals here. The one that is green is the blue, while the other one is the bear. If you look at it so closely, these two animals are opposing themselves. That is an indication to tell you that the buyers and the sellers are always opposing themselves in the forest market. I repeat, the buyers and the sellers are always opposing themselves in the what? In the forest market. Let's proceed. Now, who trades forex? Have you sat down and asked yourself, who trades forex? One, the central banks are the major body that trades forex. I repeat, the central banks are the major bodies that trade forex. After the central bank, who trade forex again? The commercial banks. The commercial banks, they are also subordinate to the central banks. Who also trade forex? The individual multinational corporations. The multinational corporations also trade forex. And the last body that trade forex are the individual investors. Class, I'm talking about the central banks. Example of central bank, European Central Bank, Central Bank of Nigeria, Bank of England, Bank of Canada, Bank of America. All of all these banks, they trade forex. Now, I used to remember when my mentor used to teach me there. Whenever you notice a big pool in the market, it is an indication that what? The central banks, they visited the market. And whenever you notice that drive, it has a great momentum in the market. It means that what? The central banks, they have come into the market. The commercial banks are, these banks, what they do, the commercial banks, they also come into the market. Example of commercial banks are Echo Bank, Crystal Bank, Polaris Bank, Guarantee Trust Bank, JP Morgan, so many of all these banks you see. You see, class, all the banks you and I will deposit our money into, they all trade forex. Have, have you ever asked yourself, how do banks get money to make such moves? For instance, when you see, this, you see them sponsor, sponsoring some events, yes, I'm not saying your 50 Naira has not helped. What they did done from your bank, I am not saying it has not helped. But I can assure you that, I can assure you that what they do, all this money that is achieved is from the trading they do in their headquarters. They have big people that actually specify in trading for them. Come and make your research. And let me tell you something. There is a way you'll be so good in this business. You can work in multinational corporations. You can even work trade for people. Are you, you can trade for people. I do that very well. And when you trade for them, you get your profit and you leave. Are you eating? So that is that. Who are the individual investors? Or sorry, who are the multinational corporations? These are some firms you see that they will tell you that bring 500,000 euro, will trade for you. You will make a profit of what? $100. All these people, they are doing well. I agree with you. They are so perfect. But class, I want to say something to you. There is no crime if you learn this business 
and you know how to trade this very well. There is no crime if you learn this business and you know how to trade yourself as I am. All the trading I do, it is from what I have learned. Are you with me? See, there will be a way you be so good in this business. There will be a way you be so good in this business. Even if you have a mentor, for instance, I'll be your mentor. Your mentor, you might not really require the help of your mentor. You might not really require the help of your what? Your mentor. Because what? You are reading, you have gained knowledge, you have learned to an extent. Now, look at it so closely. This is a flow chart. A flow chart that shows you exactly what I told you. The central bank, they are the center man or they are the center people of the bank. Like for instance, now when Messi used to be in Barcelona, is the center man in the in uh, Barcelona. Look at the major banks. The major banks, these banks are the subordinates. These banks are the bank that assist every activity that occurs. Then the market makers are the brokers. Who are the brokers? The brokers are, um, uh, uh, for instance, Old Forex, for instance, FTA, um, Antec, for instance, uh, InstaFX. All of all these broker firms you see, they are very good example of what the brokers. Brokers will come to you. Who is it? Else? Let me see who is it. Else. Brokers will come to you, Mr. Duke and Clinton. I know that you don't have much money. You have $400. Bring your $400. We will boost your $400 in the financial markets. And in that way, it will look like leverage. Are you with me? For instance, that man $400 can be probably $200 in the forest market because he has used a leverage of one ratio 500. Are you with me? So these are the functions of brokers. Do you think they do that for free? No. They get their commissions. Are you with me? It's just for instance, if Mr. Success tells me that, Mr. Ghost Power, I want you to let me buy Toyota Camry 2011 in Lagos. If the man asks me, how much are you going to get it from um, which of these, um, uh, all, all of all these um, Toyota Elysee in Lagos? I would if I tell the man 2.5 million, do you think it's exactly 2.5 million? <laughs> Probably it is 1.8. I have made my profit from that amount, from that um, business. I with me. So that is that. Plus, the next thing I would like to talk about is currencies. There are several types of currencies. We have Nigeria currency, we have United States currency, we have Swiss currency, we have uh, European currency. But I'll say something. Currency is of two sections, the base currency and the put currency. Now listen, the first listed currency of a currency pair is called the base currency. I repeat, the first listed currency of a currency pair is called what? The base currency. And currency pair compares the value of one to another. Now, the base currency, if you look at my screen class, you see something like Euro USD. The base currency is Euro. The quote currency is USD. I repeat, the base currency is Euro. The quote currency is what? USD. Are you with me? So these are currencies. It's just like when you say a pair of slippers. A pair of slippers is when you simply say, I have a left slippers and I have a right one. Are you with me? So that's what it means. So now, for the base currency, you have euro, and for the quote, you have USD. Another example is GPP AUD. For GPP, you have the base currency to be what? GPP, and you have the quote currency to be what? AUD. The last one is XAU USD. You add XAU is good. XAU is good. I know you probably be wondering if we trade good. Yes, <laughs> we trade good. There's silver, there's gold, there's, um, is it um, polonium? There are, you know, there are some elements in chemistry. I'm sorry, I'm going to chemistry, science. Chemistry, you know, gold, the symbol of gold in chemistry is AU. And the symbol of silver in chemistry is AG. The symbol of polonium is PO. Are you with me? So all of all these things, we trade them, both class, most importantly, what you should know is that the base currency is the first currency pair and the quote currency is the second. Like I repeat, Euro USD, Euro is the base currency, USD is the quote currency. Exchange rate. Exchange rate is the rate 
at which one currency will be exchanged for another. It is also regarded as the value of one country's currency in relation to another. We we'll believe that one country, we we'll believe that one currency will rise against another. We buy the strong currency and we sell the what the what the weak currency. What am I saying? What I'm saying is Spanish. Let me now analyze. Class, let's go to my screen. What's the screen rate or something? I'm sure everybody can see my screen. Exchange rate is, let's say you have a currency pair. Let's say you have a currency pair and the currency pair is Euro GPP. For instance, you have the currency pair and the currency pair is Euro GPP. Now class, I want to say something so briefly. If you have Euro GPP, then it means that the first, the base currency is Euro and the quote is what GPP. Now say something. Let's say the value of this Euro GPP is 400, is 400 to 800. Let's say the value of this is 400 to 800. I hate the class. So if we have it as 400 to 800, zeros cancel zeros from our mathematics. If zero should cancel zero, then we now have something like, then the next thing we have is four year one, four year two. One divided by two is what? 0 0.5, which is 0 0.5, 0, 0, 0. That is an exchange. Of course, if you check Google now, this is not the exchange rate for Euro GPP. I'm just citing this as an example. I just want to show you how you can buy and how you can sell in this market. Now, let's say who's in the house. Let me check who's in the house. Let's say Mr. Elaga or Mr. Samuel calls me that Mr. Gospower, Euro has increased in the forest market from 400 to 500. So it means that Euro will probably go from 400 to what? To 500. So that will be 500. 500 divided by 800. If you have 500 divided by 800, then zeros cancel zeros. If zeros should cancel zero, then let's say five divided by eight, do your mathematics. That should give you 0 0.833. I might not be so correct, but I'm sure this might probably be the answer. Are you with me? So, look at it, class. If that is done, what is the next thing? Now that the, S the euro has increased in the forest market, see, let me tell you something, class. You see those two animals you saw facing themselves? They mean something. They mean that if one animal is going up, are you with me? If one animal is going up, then the other animal is what? Coming down. If one animal is going up, then the other animal is what? Coming down. Are you with me? So now look at it. If Euro is increasing the market, then virtually this GPP should be reducing, even though I'm not going to talk about that value. But I just want to talk about the increment of 400 to 500. So whenever Euro increases 400 to 500, what do you do, class? You buy. You buy that currency pair. So if, so if you buy that currency pair, now, when Euro now reduces, in the forest market. Let's say Mr. Mr. What? Let me check who's in the house again. Let's say Mr. Mr. Augustine calls me and says, Mr. Gospel, Euro has dropped in the market to 300. If that's 300 to 800, or let's say 200 to 800, let's say 200 to 800, then 200 to 800, 200 year one, 200 year four. Do your mathematics. One divided by four is what? 0 0.25. That's 0 0.25. Zero, zero. You have 0 0.25. Zero, zero. If what you do, it means that in the forest market, you are supposed to sell. It means that in the forest market, you are supposed to what? 
to sell. So you have to sell that currency pair. You have to sell that currency pair in that class. Are you clear? So class, what am I saying in essence? What I'm saying in essence is that whenever Euro increases in the market, probably from 400 to 500, you are supposed to buy. Whenever Euro reduces from 400 to 200, you are probably supposed to what? To sell. So that is that question. Now class, let me go to my next phase. Please, before I go to my next phase, let me quickly announce this. I have a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. Now, because everybody, some people have a network problem, and some people seem to find it difficult to connect, I will drop the link. For every class I hold for these four days, I will record everything. So don't feel bad about it. I'll record everything. So I'll drop on that YouTube channel. Please do, please. And when you go to that channel, please subscribe, share, and like. Because there are so many videos, even aside from this beginner's class, there are so many videos I'll be posting on that particular link that will enhance you in this business. So please do yourself by what subscribing to that channel. Thank you very much. So what's the next phase? Fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis is a way of looking at the price market, analyzing economic, social, and political forces that may affect currency prices. Now, the idea behind this type of analysis is that if a country's current or futures economy output is good, its currency should strengthen. The, but, the better shape a country's economy is, the more foreign businesses and investors we we invest in that country. Now, let me quickly say something. Fundamental analysis is like news trading. I repeat, fundamental analysis is like news trading. Look at it so closely. Last year, coronavirus period, people, people if you look at it, people did not make money. People made bastard money. In fact, people made money last year. Last year, there was a total lockdown. Um, importation business was down. China, that they were saying that um, coronavirus came from China. Importation was short at that point because I also do importation. Blogging, yes, blogging was on, but I can tell you that blogging was, yes, yes, blogging is one business. I can tell you that it also ran with forex. But the truth about it is you must be very, very patient when it comes to blogging. What am I trying to say in essence, not If you know forex trading very well, you be so perfect you end at any time you want. Now, economical situation like I've seen previously, coronavirus affected the market. But guess what? Market that you think that people are not profiting from, people made money from it. See, I always say something. If your strategies are right in this business, you always make money. I'm not bragging. I thank God for today. I myself, I know how much I've made to do in my own life account. Are you with the strategies I'm going to teach you? Are you doing? Now, that is for economic situation. Political forces. January this year, Joe Biden and Trump, they created a whole lot of problems in the forest market. The market was so fast. In fact, Euro GPP had a serious problem around that January. If anybody's here trading life accounts, you can testify to what I'm saying. That period, the market was so fast. Are you doing? The market was really, really, really fast. If you use a wrong strategy to jump into that market, you lose all your capital. I know people threw their money away. You don't have, and that's why I always tell my students, you finish a training, you are supposed to perfect yourself for like two weeks before you eventually dive into life account. Life account is so sweet to go into. But if you don't know what to do, if you don't have a pattern, you lose all your money. Though I'll talk about that before this class elapses. So that is that about political forces. Now, technical analysis. Technical analysis is a way of looking into the, is a way of using, using price pattern on a particular asset. There are tools you use to predict the market. And these tools, they are so helpful in the forest market. What kind of tool are we looking into at that? We are talking about uh, Fibonacci level. We are talking about support and resistance. Moving average max RSI stochastic Bollinger bands, Williams percent ratio. We are talking about um, CCI. You see, if you go on YouTube, there are so many people teaching forex. In fact, 
I launched my Facebook account, which the year was it on Saturday? What I saw was so, so shocking. Almost everybody is teaching Forex. If you are not careful, if I'm sorry, I'm not saying I'm a perfect candidate. It is God that gives one the grace to teach. Are you good? But I'm so sure of something. If you walk into the wrong hands and you believe you are receiving a training, you now dive into a life account. You can burn your money. Are you with me? Some people will teach moving average in a good way. Some people will teach moving average in another way. All in the name of they want to make money. Are you with me? So you must try and seek the right person to give you a good training on technical analysis. Technical analysis is just you. I have friends. They will say, Mr. Gospower, I am not a technical analyst. I'm a fundamental analyst. Do you know what a fundamental analyst is? Somebody that focuses on news and uses news to predict his entry. A technical analyst is someone that focuses on tools and uses those tools to jump into the forest market. I am a very good example of both fundamental and technical. Sometimes I news trade and sometimes I trade with tools. Should I tell you something that will shock you, class? I virtually I, I do more of technical analysis because if your strategies are right, you will definitely win in the forest market. Are you with me? If your strategies are right, you surely win in the forest market. Are you with me? So that is that. Class, we've come to the end of today's journey. I just want to say one or two things. Class, whenever I train people, I like to tell them the reality of this business. If, for instance, you are a new person, you have never traded life account here, I will tell you something today. In this business, please never be greedy. I repeat, in this business, never be greedy. If, for instance, you have $100, you now want to use $100 to go into the, your life account, you can use, you, if there, there's no crime if you earn $7, $10 in a day. Sometimes, you will see that some people, they will greedily jump into the market. And when they jump into the market, what happens? You will see them using, uh, what they call it, uh, $100 to win $50. I am not saying $100, winning $50 is not good. <laughs> but the day the repercussion will come, the day you, the repercussion will come, you'll be so marveled. That same way you have used $100, I have a student. The student was one of my first, okay, sorry, was one of, not even my first. I trained that guy last year around May. I trained him last year. He's not even my first student. So something happened last year. This guy used $300 to achieve $1,200 in a day. And I said, God, how can you use $300? No, I said in a day, in a week. I said, how can you use $300 to achieve $1,200? Even me that I trade like that. I don't end like that in this business. So something happened one night. On Friday, his account was almost getting bonds. The guy called me to save him. I saved him. I told him that. I told him the, on Sunday night. In fact, we are panicking from Friday. You know, there's only call weekend that I'll teach you that later. We are panicking from Friday to Sunday. So this guy now deleted some trades. I advised him to delete some trades and his account was saved. Guess what? He repeated the same thing. This time, his $1,000 got bonds totally. You imagine somebody who is born in $1,000. That's almost like four, 48,000. I what am I even saying? That is 485,000. He cried. You know, one thing about this business is it is more or less like somebody is addicted to something. When you earn above what you are cap you, your capital, you have $100, you earn $200 in a day. You have $200, you earn $500 in a day. The day to catch up with you, <laughs> the account will burn successfully successfully are you okay so thank you very much class please is there any question before we go please class don't forget i'll drop the recorded version before 10 and i promise and now please i'll drop it on my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe so that i can always get subsequent um videos thank you very much ask your questions please before we go we have just five minutes to run the questions ask your questions Yes, somebody's raising some. Mr. Success, yes. Ask your question quickly. Mr. Success, please ask your question. Uh, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, my guy. How's everything, sir? Uh, we bless God, sir. Yes, sir, um, thank you. Um, I'm calling from Port Court. My question is, you said that um, 
from the uh, explanation you gave that when a uh, euro is 200, we should sell instead of yes. buy. Mm. I mean, then when it is uh, moving from 400 to 500, we should buy. Mm. Then my question is, are we not supposed to buy when, I mean, are we not supposed to sell when the thing is moving up? Because you said that we should sell when it is uh, yeah, 200 okay. instead okay. of uh, up. Okay. okay, let me okay. Let let answer you, your question before the time elapses. Thank you very much for that question. I was even supposed to talk about that. Thank you very yes, much. Sir. Plus, Forex trading is not Bitcoin. I repeat, Forex trading is not Bitcoin. I agree with you. I Oh, thank you, Mr. O UP. I agree with you with what you said. Let me tell you something, class. In Bitcoin, if, if you increase in Bitcoin, you go up in Bitcoin. Maybe the candle has gone up. What are you supposed to come and do when you, Bitcoin has gone up? You are supposed to what? Sell it immediately so that you have your capital and you have your profit, right? Right, Mr. Success? Yes, sir. Now, when Bitcoin was $29,000, 29 US dollars. Now, it's now came, it now started going up, right? What are you supposed to do? You are supposed to buy. Yes, right sir. now, Bitcoin is going up. What are you supposed to do? You are supposed to buy. Sir, Forex trading is not the same with Bitcoin. I, I agree with you. You can, train, you can trade Bitcoin in Forex. I'll teach you that later. But in this case, it is different. When you are, when you are, when you are trading in Forex, the best currency is what you should look. I will show you in a chat. It's just that I can't be showing you trading view now. I don't want to confuse the new, the new people yet. Are you with me? I will show you on the chat. Yes, when candle is going up, that's when you're supposed to enter the market. You're not supposed to sell at that point. And even the entrance of that market, sir, depends on your strategy. Are you with me? The entrance of the yes, market sir. depends on your strategy. You know the beauty about Forex. Let me tell you the beauty about Forex. If you know how to trade Forex, you will be able to use your technical analysis to predict the Bitcoin. You see this rising, Bitcoin is rising, right? Going up right now. I have already predicted it when I saw the movement of the indicators. I've already known. Are you with me? So it's yes, a different sir. thing, sir. It's a different thing. Don't worry. In subsequent classes, I will explain something deeper to you and you see it yourself. I promise you on that. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, you're welcome, sir. Class, thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. I have to stop now. Please don't forget that tomorrow is another day. Same time, 8 p.m. tomorrow. Please don't miss tomorrow's class for anything. Tomorrow's class is going to be practical. Thank you very much, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody.